Scarlet, you are ours. We made you, and we will destroy you. Skybase. The Mysterons were in control. It was as if I didn't exist anymore. Do you mean they hypnotized you? No, it wasn't hypnosis. And I thought you'd want to hear this, and I think Scarlet should hear it too. Go on, Doctor. I've been running tests. The results are remarkable. Meaning? Well, basically, this isn't Scarlet. What the hell is this? He's an imposter? No. Doc, you're not making a whole lot of sense. Well, he has Scarlet's DNA, but he's been altered at a subatomic level. What exactly are you saying? This man has Scarlet's fingerprints, iris configuration, and even the rivets in his leg from a break suffered ten years ago. But this isn't the man you sent to Mars. Are you saying I'm some kind of clone? A clone is an exact genetic copy. You have a unique difference. Your body is genetically retro-metabolizing. Captain Scarlet, you are virtually indestructible. Right. We've spotted your man. Where is he? At the United Nations building. What's he doing there? He's got to be after Colonel White. Let's get the Skyriders. The Mysterons have already made one strike against Spectrum. We have no room for complacency. At the same time, I do not want to underestimate the readiness of Spectrum. We have superbly equipped, highly trained special forces who are ready to engage the enemy in the form of terrorism, whatever the cost. Are we be prepared for whatever the enemy may throw at us? The road ahead may be difficult, but... Doc. Doc? Huh? Dr. Gold. Well, you've had another hour, my friend. I'm sorry. It makes no difference. You've earned your rest more than most, Scarlet. Rest in peace. be happening has to be some kind of hallucination colonel it's gold there's still no change we have to accept the inevitable what am I a ghost no something's going on here You just won't die, will ya? Looks like I'm gonna have to kill you the old-fashioned way. Safety override engaged. The safety override safety won't let override. you open doors in flight, Scarlet. 
You should know that. Fernandez called the maid to clear it up. I don't know. The footage from the security cameras. There was something that wasn't right. Something about the way Fernandez walked out of there. It wasn't natural. It reminded me of a sleepwalker. Adam! were the pessimistic kind. No. I was a realist. How much do you remember? From before the Mysterons took you over. Everything, don't you? The Mysterons don't control me. I got free of them. Talking of irony, do you realize that if they still had you under their control, I could still be sleeping the sleep of the dead? Are you asking for an apology? No. Like I said, I'm a realist. We're on opposite sides now. But we were friends once. You remember that? You saved my life. We were best of friends. And now? Best of enemies. Even now, Conrad? I am not Conrad. Somewhere inside there, you are. I just wanted you to know, Paul. When I blow you, bit by bit, back to that watery planet up there, you had already failed. Tranquility is finished. No, Black. You are. Self-destruct activated. I've been expecting you. Meteor strike! Yeah. Decompression! Decompression! Emergency bulkhead closing in five seconds. Four. Scarlet! Three, come on! Two. One. Four. Decompression! Closing in five seconds. Four. 
okay? You know, I'm getting a bad feeling about this mission. Captain Scarlet has failed us, but the Mistrons will not fail. We have another instrument of destruction. My way home, you idiot. This is a shortcut. I'm cutting short your life. Conrad. You know better than anybody that Conrad is dead. You can beat what the Mysterons did to us, Conrad. Conrad is dead. And soon this whole planet will be destroyed. So, this is what you've been doing with all those fuel rods you've been stealing around the world. You've certainly built yourself a big bomb. Big enough to blow your planet in half. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. All I have to do is press this button. Time run out. Enjoy the show, Scarlet. I've been expecting you. Your guns are useless here. The microprocessor in the gun. It's been knocked out. Just like you disabled the systems in Destiny's plane. Destiny? How is she? As if you care. You could have killed her. Could have, but didn't. You could say I only wanted to grab your attention. The crop circles. A signature of certain Mysteron energies. They gave you something to focus on. Are you saying you led us here? Now you're getting it. Technology has become this planet's god. But from here, I am god over your technology. And I am a vengeful god, Scarlet. What happened today was nothing to the apocalypse that could follow. Imagine it. Aircraft falling from the skies. Nuclear reactors in meltdown. Now, Gina will be my eyes and ears. Everything she sees and hears, I will see and hear. And she will never take her eyes off you. Gina, watch Scarlet's every move. Yes, sir. You are going to detonate this mine in Skybase's fuel storage tanks. Skybase will be destroyed along with everyone on board, including yourself. And if I don't, you'll kill Destiny? No, I wouldn't do that. I'll turn her into a Mr. on Slave, and she'll stay with me until the end of time. Now, the choice is yours. I don't care if Spectrum knows. That rhino must attack that train, and you will be on it. Over my dead body. Hmm. 
perfect. Huh? Ah! Oh! What have you done? The show isn't over yet. here is ten feet thick. It can freeze over in minutes. When I pull this trigger, I'm gonna throw what's left of you into that hole. Indestructible or not, you'll freeze and stay that way until the sun burns out. But we'll have destroyed all of you long before then. What are you doing here? Although I guess it's no surprise. Mars is home now, isn't it? Second home. Sort of. What did you do? Infiltrate the Vulcan maintenance team and hitch a ride? Something like that. So what happened to them? They're around. <laughs> Let's call that a lucky shot. Next time won't be so lucky. For you. Black. What are you doing here? I'm on vacation. What have you done with Elaine and Mario? Well, they're alive. There's oxygen in the bus for two hours. But there won't be anyone left to rescue them long before that. There never was any nerve agent, was there? Nerve agent is a limited weapon here. All those closed environments. But a bison with the arsenal it carries. I can destroy Tranquility and every other human base on the moon. Yes, it was a trap, Scarlet, but Spectrum surpassed itself. It sent two bison. And you know, that gives us an opportunity. Us? To settle the score. On guard. That was fun. of people down there, worrying about their jobs, paying the bills, cursing next door's dog for yapping all night. What do you think they'd do if they knew what was going on? You mean if they knew about the Mysterons? Do you think maybe they'd put all the backbiting aside and kind of come together, like one big united family? 
<laughs> Come on, Adam. Do you always get this deep when you're in orbit? Only when some crazy is planning to use me as the wrecking ball from outer space on Pennsylvania Avenue. And I can't do a damn thing about it. How are you two doing up there? Hey, Paul. We're fine. Yeah, we're just kicking back. But I sure hope you're keeping yourself busy. Don't worry, Adam. I've got some news. The U.S. government has agreed to put up the ransom. Well, hey, what do you know? Uncle Sam cares after all. Adam? It's a fusion bomb. Adam. Time to grab a takeout on the way. What the? We've got company. Two minutes, Adam. We've only got 30 seconds. Let's make this easy. You just come on out. How's that? That's what I figured. One touch. That's all it takes. <laughs> Was fun. Remind me, Doc, did we come to a multi billion dollar mining operation on Mars or Castle Dracula Transylvania West? It is disconcerting, I admit, but it is only the wind. You should. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Through there. yourself perhaps your imagination captain <laughs> there are misterons here i can smell them anybody home at least they put the coffee on before they skip town mm, smells good Help you guys? 
Oh, sorry, ma'am. We, we called out, but... <laughs> Don't worry. From the look of those uniforms, you're not about to rob me, are you? Go on. Help yourself. Well, thank you, ma'am. Mmm. It's good. Katie's coffee. Hottest thing this side of Anchorage. Say, you guys hungry? I got some real good moose casserole I can warm up. We're fine, thanks. Okay, so how can I help you? You didn't just drop in for the coffee, I bet. Did you see or hear anything unusual last night? Like what? We're looking for a Russian military vehicle that came over the Bering Strait Bridge The Russians? Night. I thought we were all friends now. Oh, we are. Uh, did you notice anything? No, nothing. We'd like to ask around, but the town seems deserted. Everyone's at the mine. Everyone? Except me. How's that? They told me to wait for you. That's it, the nerve agent. Scarlet and Blue, go! Where did that come from? Give me that. Sorry to burst in on you, ma'am. Adam? I'm okay, Paul. Oker, are you with us? Okay, Colonel? Yes, Captain. This is a day I've long feared, and hoped against hope would never come. The Misserons have taken control of Scarlet again. But not even he could survive a fall of 60,000 feet. To my head. What? They're reading my mind. <laughs> Using me to find their way around Skybase. We've got to get this stuff no! off her. We've no idea what it is. And if it's in some way connected to the neural cortex, removing it blindly could damage her brain. Even kill her. I know what they're after. The atomic reactor. To overload it. I'm trying to keep my mind away from engineering. Sending them the wrong way, but I don't know how much longer I can keep it up. So, how are you feeling? Good, thanks. And I'll be glad to get some real food inside me instead of this nutrient they're piping in. After 15 years cryo, your system couldn't take solid food. 
It would kill you. I guess. Hey, are you all right? Bet you can't wait for a corn dog. Always loved them, didn't you? Don't tell me they put that in my obituary. No. I just never forgot. Dad. Serena? I can't remember ever being more delighted to be so very wrong. doing down here? Hey, Serena! Serena, no! I can't hold her! I'm losing her! Rhapsody! Can't be right. <laughs> Lieutenant Green. As ever, your assistance is invaluable. The summit's underway, Paul. So far, everything's quiet. Maybe we're gonna get lucky. Hold that thought, Adam. Good and tight. Of course, we don't all get as lucky as certain angels I can think of. Lieutenant, are you turning green with envy? <laughs> no, sir. It must be the light reflecting off my tunic. <laughs> Very good. You bet I'm jealous. Most sophisticated multi-functioning cyber system on the planet, land or sea. What about in the air? You should see our system on Skybase. I'd like that. Your computer and mine? I bet they'd have really cool microbytes. Can I take a look at its circuit boards? Sure.
backyard. Oh, hi, Destiny. Come on in. How you feeling? Oh. The Mysterons used Raynaud's gas and created another Scarlet program to kill. Blue to Skybase, come in. Go ahead, Captain Blue. Scarlet was telling the truth. I have to speak to the Colonel. Sorry, Captain. Can't let you do that. What the hell is going on? Skybase, this is Blue. Come in, Skybase. It's dead. And what's gotten into green? Maybe it wasn't her. Maybe this thing can take my shape and that of anyone else it comes into contact with. Remember. Matter can't be destroyed, but it can change. So how the hell do we kill it? Lieutenant Green, we've lost all communications. What's going on? I don't know, sir. I'm trying to fix it. Well, do it quickly. Checkmate. You always leave your counterattack until the last moment, Scarlet. In chess, that's too late. I'll try to remember that. You're looking well, sir. Thank you. I feel like I've been hit in the back by a wrecking ball. But uh, I understand that I owe my life to you. I just did what I had to, sir. You acquitted yourself well in the field, Lieutenant. You've earned promotion to Captain. What do you say, Captain Green? <laughs> Thank you, Colonel, sir. Uh, but if it's all the same to you, I'd rather stay a lieutenant. I'd rather stay with you. And I rather hope that was what you would say. <sighs> Give me a gun any day. A gun is a weapon without artistry, Captain Scarlet. <laughs> The installation was involved in military research. Black's last assignment before Mars was a review of security there. You think he took something from the lab before he blew it up? I think so. The New York FBI are handling the investigation. We've sent a picture of Captain Black and told them he's a terrorist. I want you there to liaise. Yes, Colonel. I'm due at the United Nations today for an emergency meeting. I'd like to tell them this is a war we're winning. Yes, sir. I understand. And take Scarlet with you. But we don't know for sure whose side Scarlet is on. What the Mysterons did to him has left Scarlet with some kind of telepathic link with Black. We're not in a position to disregard any advantage we might have. Give me a gun any day. A gun is a weapon without artistry, Captain Scarlet. Central control to Colonel White. What is it, Lieutenant? Unidentified object entering Earth atmosphere, Colonel. Launch the Angels. I'm on my way. Well, thank heavens the Mysterons overlooked the fact that World War II bombers like the Lancaster didn't rely on computers, which made them quite immune to the Mysteron weapon. I'm just sorry Black managed to give us the slip again. Nevertheless, well done, Scarlet. Oh, by the way, there's a message for you from the Royal Air Force Museum. For me? Yes. Uh, please, can we have our Lancaster back? That is, if you've quite finished with it, old boy. And we do hope you haven't pranged it. Haven't pranged it? Yes, you know, broken it, crashed it. Oh, for heaven's sake, Scarlet, don't you understand English? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got pretty wet, Colonel. I'm all right. 
I said I'm all right, Captain. No, stay where you are. Or what? You'll shoot me? If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing my duty. And if you were the man you used to be, you'd be the first to tell me that. But I am the man I used to be, Captain. As I was going to say earlier, it's just as well I used this. Waterproof cream. It's used by divers. <laughs> Dr. Gold recommended it. How do I know it's worked? You'll have to decide that for yourself, Captain. But please don't take too long. I'm beginning to steam in this heat. You wanted to see me, Colonel. How are you, Adam? Sick to my stomach if you want the truth, sir. I'm ready to do some damage to get the mist around that killed my friend. I know. Scarlet was on to something in Arizona. I want you to find out what. Yes, sir. No! You've got to go to the hangar deck or in 40 minutes you're all gonna be dead. Leave it to me, Colonel. Adam! Oh. Captain, you all right? Yes, sir. Someone walking over my grave, that's all. Breathtaking, Victoria. Every man in here is jealous of me. You old charmer. A little less of the old, or I could change my mind about this. Oh, it's beautiful. So are you. Oh, Daddy, thank you. It doesn't compensate for my absence, I'm afraid. You've become a young woman, Victoria. You're at university. But I want you to understand, there hasn't been an hour in a day in all these years that I haven't thought of you and your mother. I know, Daddy. I'm just pleased we meet when we can. I only wish your minders didn't have to come too, even if Captain Scarlet is quite cute. They have the house under electronic surveillance. How else would they know I was here? Have you heard anything? Is Victoria okay? The kidnappers contacted us, as they said, at 0800 hours. I think she's as well as can be expected. We'll get her back, Colonel. This has to be entirely unofficial, you understand that? This has nothing to do with the Mistrons. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. My place is on Skybase. The survival of the human race is in our hands, gentlemen. We have our duty. But we don't fight this war to defend the human race. Each of us fights to save our families and our friends. Without those we love, what sense is there in anything we do? What do they want? They want me to help rob a bullion train with a rhino in just under three and a half hours. That's all the time you have, gentlemen.
cornered. If the others on the ship are like these, we won't stand a chance. I'll cover you. Three weeks we've been on the trail of those stolen alien spores, Captain. Three weeks. Yes, Colonel, I know. Don't interrupt me. If released into the atmosphere, they will kill thousands in a matter of minutes. We know the Mistrons have incorporated them into a bomb, and apparently they've chosen a Phoenix policeman to trigger it. And in one night, Captain Oker, we have managed to lose the spores, the bomb, and the policeman. That I'm prepared to accept. The Mistrons are, after all, a cunning enemy. But I will not yield to your loss of a Spectrum raid bike to some renegade motorcycle gang member. I know, sir. I didn't engage the locking code. I take full responsibility. Well, that's very comforting, Captain. Will you take full responsibility for whatever mayhem this two-wheeled maniac causes with the Spectrum firepower that raid bike carries? I don't see that I have any option, Colonel. You have one option, Captain. To get it back. Dismissed. Sir. However they did it, 30% of the world's oil resource has been wiped out in a single strike. The Mysterons knew a hostile alien craft landing on Earth would be Spectrum's priority. But it was just a decoy while they attacked the oil field. And everything that happened inside was just mind games? The whole thing was a mind game. I'm not even sure the ship itself existed. Not as we would understand it. Today, the Mysterons have shown themselves to be superior in ways we could never have imagined. They are an enemy that not only fights in the shadows, but marshals those shadows against us. Today, they have won. But the war goes on, gentlemen. And we will win it. We must. Imminent. Radiation leak imminent. Radiation leak imminent. Emergency. My controls are jammed. I'm locked onto Skybase. Harmony, stay within range of Destiny. SIG. Destiny, report. Control still jammed. Impact, 20 seconds. Destiny, bail out. Negative, all systems failed. Impact, 10 seconds. Harmony, shoot her down. Sir? I said, shoot her down. Skybase, that wasn't my missile. No, Harmony. She self-destructed. She gave her life to save ours. Look! Crash crews, escape pod is coming in for crash landing. I can see her clearly. She's okay. It was nice knowing you, Destiny. You too, Adam. I've... I've got control back! Mercury to Sky Base, we have control of the shuttle. I repeat, we have control. Harmony, missile self-destruct. S.I.G. She's not responding. Must have been hit by the shockwave. Can't pull her out of it! Colonel, we're going to crash. Re-engage the Angels. Negative. You're too close to the city. Destiny, it's up to you. Fire the front landing jets! Do what? Now!
Those vampires are hot stuff. Wait till they see how angels fly. You know, leave is supposed to mean relaxation, not competition in an air show. <laughs> I get bored easily. So do Harmony and the other girls. Don't worry. You won't miss any action. Sure, if only. Well, you look at that. Mm. The grand old lady who's probably going to steal the show tomorrow. A World War II Lancaster bomber. Only ever seen him in museums. Then you're in for a treat. <laughs> Beautiful. Hard to believe people actually went to war in planes like that. And what? You have a weird idea of fun. <laughs> oh, come on, Paul. You've got to agree it's worth the effort. Look at that view. Yep. Looks good to me. What's this? A new toy? It's the very latest model. Hey, just hold that look. Whoa! Sorry, are you okay? As long as there's work for blind pilots. What is that? It's amazing. This thing can photograph an entire landscape at night. It's got an incredible flash, uh, which I'd left on full power. Sorry. Smile. Got it right that time. Yes, <laughs> I can still see. Colonel White to Destiny Angel. Yes, Colonel? It seems the Aerospace Research Unit are developing a new guidance system, and they want to test it on the best pilots. Seems you're at the top of their list. Interested? Can't wait. Thank you, sir. They'd like to see you tomorrow. They're sending a private jet to pick you up at the Falcon Air Base, so you'd better get down there. SIG. Sorry, Paul, but I have to go. I'll explain on the way down. Hey, wait for me! Top of their list. That's what the man said. Don't tell me you're going to keep your word and release me. Oh no. I never keep my word. You should know that. Scarlet is dead. And now you are going to become my Mr. On Slave. Just think, you are going to live with me forever. No chance. You'll be disintegrated. Don't!
about us, Conrad. The way we were before the Mysterons. I sometimes think you'd make an attractive Mysteron slave. <laughs> Now, you tell me. What are you doing here? What do the Mysterons want with this mine? I'll fire. Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> now, playtime's over. Mind if I join you? Come on, Adam, take a seat. Have you heard the news? What's that? Guess we're stuck in an elevator. For about an hour so far, I heard from someone up in control. Destiny and Paul. Oh, oh the lucky dog. Lucky Destiny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Didn't anyone up here notice we need an exterminator? We're working on it, Captain. Those things are all over the base. Five decks so far, levels four to eight. We're getting more reports, but the cyber bugs seem to be interfering with communications. Any word from Scarlet? Nothing. And where's Lieutenant Green? Off duty. You said level eight. That's her deck. I know. What I don't know is where on earth all these damn things came from. The Captain Scarlet. I'm homing in on you. Should have visual any time now. Black is heading for open desert. There's no way he can hide. We've got him, Harmony. <laughs>
thought there was something odd about you. For an hour. Soon this whole place will be crawling with Spectrum Special Forces. Ah, oh, yes. Well, we don't want that, do we? So, you're going to speak to them and tell them that everything's all right. You don't really believe I would do that, do you? Yeah, I believe you would. Go ahead. Kill me. No, that will be too easy for you. What I have in mind will be much more painful. What do you want me to do? Tell your people that you're following up a new lead. Say you'll report back in an hour. So I'll make another report in an hour. SIG, Harmony. Otherwise, all is well? Yes, sir. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Good. We'll talk later. Harmony's in trouble. She used today's emergency code, A-OK. -okay. Get me Captain Scarlet and tell Destiny to stand by for a new brief. into German airspace. No sign of target yet. No? Wait! I've got it! Target locked! Its destination could be the nuclear plant. You must eliminate immediately. SIG. Target is still intact. Ship really did crash here. Which world did you come from? Planet stupid or planet ugly? There's nothing here. We've been through the whole building, top to bottom to top again. If there was a bomb here, the locator would find it. Could it be shielded? By what? The purification system.
Can you see it? We got it. Only just. According to my readings, it's going to blow in eight minutes. It's a complex double positive interface system. Even if we could get it out of there, there's no way I can defuse it in time. I wonder how far down that goes. Well, will you look at that? The radios are dead, the spectrotechs aren't working, and now gravity's out of whack. This whole place is seriously on the fritz. sure I'm alive. This thing is like a living maze, sneaking up and closing in on you, but sure, I'm okay. No! I shot you! You did what? I shot Adam. I thought he was... I heard... I don't know what I heard, but I shot him. I killed him. And then suddenly, it was like a couple of minutes earlier, and time was playing over again. And this time you didn't shoot him. Well, thanks for that anyway. Paul... What have we walked into? You could make quite a bang with this little lot. Yeah, it looks like someone helped themselves to a heap of supplies back there. And in a hurry from the look of it. Maybe they took themselves off on a hike. Come on, let's find Paul and the others. <gasps> what is it? Something touched me. I felt it. Elaine, there's nothing there. Step away, Doctor. The Captain? I said, step away. Step away from the bomb. Bomb? There isn't any bomb. I'm not stupid. I know you're a replicant. The only thing I can't work out is when the Mr. Rons killed the real Dr. Gold. Elaine, listen to me. I understand what's happening to you. It's the gas. My tests show it clearly. Vulcan was wrong, or most likely lied. It's not harmless. It affects the mind. Save your breath, Mr. Ron. Listen to me. It induces delusional paranoia, even hallucinations. As long as the filtration system kept the levels down, its symptoms were minor. Feelings of uneasiness, like being watched. Maybe thinking someone has touched you when there's no one there. But the filters have been off for eight months. The gas levels are dangerously high. It sends the maintenance crew mad with paranoia. It's doing the same to us. You've got quite an imagination. For a Mr. Ron. I think we need some fresh air. Elaine, do you want a coffee? I'm fine, thanks. Good book? <sighs> it was. Sorry. Downtime isn't my strong point. Then I hope the next 24 hours offer an opportunity for improvement, Captain. Yes, Colonel.
security protocols engaged. Hello, boys. How you doing, baby? I really dig a woman in uniform. What do you know? A spaceship really did crash here. Which world did you come from? Planet stupid or planet ugly? You don't talk to us like that. to your leader. How's this for a white knuckle ride? The ride's over, Brock. You'd better be able to handle that raid bike. Colt, we have to incinerate this bomb in less than 30 seconds to destroy the spores. When I stop, hit this rhino with everything you've got. Don't let me down, Colt. You out as well, did I? I don't like this, Scarlet. This guy could be anywhere. Don't worry, Celine. We can see everything from the satellite camera. She's on her own so far. Okay, Celine. Do it the way he said. It's a ghost town, all right, Paul. Even the ghosts are a no-show, never mind our man. Something's gone very wrong. Everything okay, Madam Secretary? Get you a coffee or anything? Uh, no thank you, Captain. How did we score? This sky base inspection? I'm sure Colonel White will let you know when he knows. Now. If you wouldn't mind concentrating on getting me home to New York, Captain. No problem. Did I hear that wrong? Or are you trying to flirt with the Secretary of the UN Special Security Council? You know what, Elaine? Under that body armor that beats a jealous heart. <laughs> Hi there, Serena. How's life with the Great White Chief? Good, Mario. How are you? <laughs> that smile's making me feel better already. Hey, you know I'm hitting the gym later? What do you say the two of us work up a sweat? <laughs> There's still no sign of life. I wasn't banking on a welcoming committee. Well, let's go see who's home.
So how do we get in? Knock? There has to be a way. I guess you found the doorknob. What kind of a place is this? The Mysteron's kind of place. So stay sharp. I don't get it. The Mysterons know we're here. Why don't they show themselves? And where's Grey? Maybe Ian's already found them. Or they found him. Kicked you out as well, did I? You look smarter than that. Now, I don't mean to sound cynical, but I wonder if all these promises will have any meaning after the election. This is a Spectrum raid. Nobody move. The divers found the rhino here. If he got out of the water, we'll find tracks. Adam? What is it? Before he shot out the window in the gym, when I had him on the floor, didn't occur to me till now. Or it didn't. He was so cold. What are you saying? What if Scarlet was telling the truth? How long? Two weeks at the most. It'll take that long just for a rescue mission to get here. I'll do everything I can. But it's probably irrelevant with that thing out there. You know, Doctor, your bedside manner really stinks. As you can see, multiple causes of death. Uh, some were blasted by a laser. Three have almost every bone in their bodies broken, as if trampled by elephants. The others, well, they've simply been cut to shreds. What could have done all this? And fire a missile at our shuttlecraft, Captain. Keep looking, Doc. We need to know what we're up against. Forensic medicine isn't one of my specializations, but uh, I'll do what I can. I'm afraid oxygen starvation when her life support was destroyed has plunged Harmony into a coma. But with this equipment, I can keep her stable, for a time. But I have to get her back to Skybase. How long? Two weeks at the most. It'll take that long just for a rescue mission to get here. I'll do everything I can. But it's probably irrelevant with that thing out there. You know, Doctor, your bedside manner really stinks. Foundationless optimism has never been my strong point. Coma is an appropriate stage of recovery from a long-term stasis in first-generation cryotubes. It shouldn't last more than a few hours. Otherwise, he seems fine. You look worried, Colonel. That escape capsule was in space a long time. What if the Mysterons found it first? You mean Commander Lewis could be a replicant? A blood test will answer that. The Mysterons are clever. But they can't hide their DNA. Is conclusive. There was no Mr. on DNA in Commander Lewis's body. What about a mistake? No. What on earth is all this, Captain? When you took his blood sample, were you alone? Yes, but... Oh. How did you get this, Doctor? I don't know. Lewis is a Mr. on replicant. What? Dr. Gold was hypnotized. He did the DNA test on his own blood.
two hours. He'll be okay, Adam. He's... You didn't see him. Any news? How's he doing? He's dead. Dead? His injuries were devastating. That he survived as long as he did, I can... I can only put down to his body's remarkable abilities. But this time... He's died before? The retro metabolization that needs time. But by now we've always seen some sign. Then you're not looking hard enough. No, Destiny. He can't be dead. He can't. Come on. Come on now. You are quite sure, Mason. There's no question. Maybe... Just give it another hour. What's an hour to eternity? Holy... To actually see the Mysterons rebuild matter, it's remarkable. Who were they? Dr. Michael King and his assistant, Dana Parrish. They were developing a cure for Raza's disease. It's a filovirus first recorded in Africa about ten years ago. Very, very nasty. <coughs> it would seem that in replicating King and Parrish, the Mysterons have incorporated the virus, or an accelerated form of it, in their makeup. This mutated form kills faster than cyanide. And he can kill just by touch? King, and we have to assume his assistant are highly lethal. Have there been any other deaths? None. They walked out of the laboratory and haven't been seen since. And they'll stay hidden until the Mr. Runs are ready to use them. <sighs> she might not be indestructible like you, Scarlet, but she's going to be all right. She just needs some rest. And, indestructible or not, you need some sleep. You know, Doc, it's the worst thing in the world. What is? What the Mr. Runs did to me. Making you indestructible? Virtually impossible to kill? What use is it when everything... everyone you care about is so... so fragile? Captain Scarlet and Blue, report to Colonel White's office immediately. Your vital signs are steady. That's good enough for me. Uh, not so fast, Destiny. You took quite a beating in that crash. You're going to stay right there for a couple of days. Oh, Dr. Gold, when I was a child with a fever, I couldn't stay in bed. It drove me crazy. You want a crazy woman on your hands? I'll take that chance. I've run all the tests I can. And? He's like you, Captain. Human-alien hybrid DNA. And crucially, like you, his brain patterns are normal. You mean he's telling the truth? He's no longer under Mr. On control? I can only tell you the results of my tests. Mr. Ron's a sly rats. No disrespect, Doc, but we can't trust these tests. We can't trust Black. Scarlet, in the past you've somehow sensed things about Black. What do you think? I just don't know. Well, Mason, tell me. The test is negative. You've got your daughter back, not a Mr. Ron replicant. But she saw a man replicated. She does know too much, Colonel. I'm sorry you had to go through this. That you saw what you did. What happened to me? What I saw? 
It's all to do with your work, isn't it? Believe me, it's best if you don't question. Simply forget. Forget? It was horrible. Impossible. How can I forget? <gasps> Just a sedative, Victoria. You've been through such a lot, you need to sleep. Now get her home, Colonel. When she wakes up in her own bed in the morning, she'll believe it was just a nightmare. Although there's not much you can do about the subconscious, she may still have the occasional bad dream. If only we were all so lucky that we could wake up and all this could be just a bad dream. <laughs> 